Radiant team take. Anti-mage. Tier only has the salve left to uh, regen himself back up with. Yeah, the mid lane matchup looking very good for Samael at the moment, yes. of course, with these early levels. 15 for 6 against the 8 for 1. Yeah, you know, it's totally wrong as far as Faceless's laning stage objective. They didn't try and secure any early souls there, but they're going to get first blood top. Nice move from, from Nuts. Seems to just catch you. That toss off onto the Nature's yep. Prophet. They had the ward there too. They they knew Warlock had TP'd there and was making that move up top, so there's a misstep. Female at mid. Getting aggressive. The response will be there from Oh, he oh, face nice it. face shift the right. sprawl. Surely does he get himself out of this one. Ooh. He doesn't. Jabs will pick up the kill. Very Once Harassi, may as well do it through right clicks. Yeah, he's he's going straight in on Arteezy. Yep. Arteezy and a little trouble as well. XY with the boulder smash, but okay. not quite enough uh, control that they need to, to maintain. Close. Heal potential and then fact, it's going to be mid lane where the blood is spilt. Info as to what's going on. Yeah, it seems like they know that Zai is in the neighborhood. Look at the roll onto Crit and Crit, man, yeah, smashed up and raised down. Crit. FL. We're gonna look for oh, a second one. Yeah, with the with the dust. Should get this Zai, he's got nothing to jump up to. So face this, pick up a second. The two something on level three with the two points in the it's aura. Be close with the face boots, he can keep chasing. As stick charges in, yeah, we'll lose vision at night, so return kill at the, t the tower yeah, and at Crystal Nova point going the 1 1 1 build, and that's a moment where he's like, man, I should have got the Nova. But typically, your team prefers the second point in Aura. On oh, mid lane, Dream Coil dropped down, and looking for jabs with the Frostbite, bringing him down low. He's stuck in the cloud, tries to turn to Rural Samel to get another razor. Won't be success. Dang. He's got three points in reactive, though, and it's max stacks. I don't Crit to be close. Yeah, well, Universe coming through as well. They should be able to control them. There's the first silence. Crit will have the uh, the follow through for Spy to try and catch him mid Timber Chain, and indeed they will. They'll bring some out through as well to make sure that they can get the kill. Took five, but. Yep. Reds and still yet to indicate what his plans will be in terms of his first major item this game. I mean, where he himself we may may see drums or such. Bottom lane in the river. His eye has been spotted out. Dusted up. Face this. So there's another here. Good support movement again. XY getting himself involved in more action. Money spent by the Ricky, but ultimately. For the regen rune, so could go back in, but yeah, it's going to be the mid lane where the focus is TPing across. They're going to look to try and fight. Dream Coil dropped onto Jabs, so just go for the TP straight up, but the mana void is there to cancel it. They'll bring down Jabs. Get the SF. And Tiny and the level 6 on Warlock. Sure. Where the it looks like the tomb of experience was taken by XYZ oh, Spirit. That mid lane here, I saw Sans wow. walks in, but EG straight up crit with that. Oh, four from XY, oh. he's got the dust. Yeah, yeah saw Zai walking past to try and get the TP out. XY trying to get out for the stun. He doesn't need it himself because Black's there with the TP in. And they'll chop him down, Ice Ice Ice, making sure that the dealers yep. still come through from crit. So EG looking to form a defense here in the mid lane. Jabs actually waltzing straight they up to the high I. ground here. They're looking to finish off the tier one. They should get it, but the freezing field's been dropped. In response, great boulder smash to cancel the CM ultimate. The tower will go down. Can they get themselves out though? Zai jumps in with the dream coil. They'll try for the Requiem. The frostbite's there to cancel it first off, but they'll get the second attempt on. And Samael taken down as he's tossed up by Black. Faceless. 16 minutes in, they yet to pick him off. He will become a big threat for sure. EG smoked up. And spot XY. More straight into the hands of them. Oh, get a quick kill onto the Earth Spirit. Can they get anything more out of it? That's the question. Ice 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 and Jabs already on the retreat. Zai looking to get the vision on the front line. Sprouts down to Ice 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 quickly. Chops down the trees and with a heal from Nuts, Ice 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 will be able to walk out. Jabs still thinking about potential to go to back in. Five seconds to the Requiem. I'd say it's surprising they're trying to force this fight without the rock up, but. Having an invis room, perhaps undetected by EG, gives them a very big strategic advantage here. And I says better, uh, you know, potential of keeping control of EG's jungle and just trying to shut down where RTZ is able to find fun. And talking about fun, Zai. Well, he's trying to set up to, for, oh, sorry, trying to set up for the Ricky even. Uh, Zai will be spotted down immediately. Black jumps up to the high ground with yeah. the combo burst down, Zai. Yeah, nice. Similarly, RTZ. Reading the situation and not exposing himself to that threat. Oh, the sentry dropping, finding Zai on the back lines. They don't have enough control others with the border smash. Will grab him the second sentry, that'll allow him to get the kill. Nicely played. Very nice sentry drop from that. Because Arteezy 
has been pressured enough and been put in positions where he can't free farm. Oh, bottom lane, they're going to go on uh, uh, top lane as well. And Black top lane, yep. In with the combo onto CM. Meanwhile, bottom. The fact that EG are still having their cores yes. on the same level, if not just a little bit higher. Arteezy's is... has got the courier oh, okay. too. Okay, that will help out as well. I mean, that's two courier kills. These towers. Yeah, uh, for sure. He wants to be number one in net worth. Like when SF's ahead of him, and this is not an SF going for any kind of a farming build, you're a little bit concerned. Now, the test for EG is, can we defend our base against this five-man Aegis push? Jeezy's trying to creep skip, be as annoying as possible, but... Why well, XY will find the dust onto Zai, and Zai will be left behind. And uh, we'll try for the TP out. Now they've got the Chakram in. Black uh, is actually the man to pick up the kill with the out game. Shadowblade after the Orchid. Not ready for this one. Ah, uh, yeah, Black looking for him. Uni. As uh, not going to be lucky enough to get himself out of this. Yes, that, that combo. Such a lot of damage. The name of the game here. Not sold on this SF BKB. I feel like he's not going to find opportunities to use it. Um, as the idea is very much, hey, let's five man force high ground with an Aegis. But I think EG split push is good enough that you're not going to... I mean, maybe these pickoffs are enough. But look, top lane, EG's already there. And mid lane, Arteezy, he's creep skipping and they're split pushing top. Uh, for EG to lose this game and face himself the chance to take it. First, real attempt at the high ground where there's no immediate split push threat. And they've killed CM. Okay, there's one down. Hey, Sliss, putting a heavy bit of pressure onto this tier three. Let's see what Arteezy's plan is going to be. Is he going to back up and help them? The Dream Coil, connect the stun onto Ice Ice Ice. Being brought down fairly low. Now with the Tricks of Trade, trying to force faces to back up. Jabs, revving up the ultimate. Get the damage reduction. Not a huge amount of actual damage done by it. It's a nice portal smash onto two. Arteezy blinks away. Black actually with the blink combo. Able to bring down Universe. And okay with that. Faceless will open up the potential. Yep. To almost certainly get these racks. The fortification will come out. But they'll stick around. And Faceless managing to do it here. Outplaying EG in the full 5v5. Yep. Oh, and that's the expected result. There's a 5v5 team fight. You expect faces to come on top and EG, you know, they know that the ults aren't there for a bit, so they can head into Roshan. Ice yeah. Ice is gonna head across. Can he go for any sort of a steal here? Yeah. It's not gonna happen in time. RTZ able to pick up the Aegis. Now looking to go in onto the Timber Saw. Jump up to the high ground for some He Drops the Dream Coil onto two. Jabs. Still trying to punch some mail back out of this one. The Dream Coil still will connect. Have lost Zai. Want to fall on EG. The rest ages. Like having two lives doesn't really change the fact that your hero doesn't engage well into him. And again, we see this problem where like, suddenly faces have lanes pushed out. And, the and... Ones, uh, pretty much there. I mean, yeah. chaotic offering oh, the only it's... one lacking. Yeah, a little bit lacking, but still, they've Come got ahead. the creep equilibrium in a good place. Already jabs down to less than half health here. RTZ jumps in on the back lines, goes in with the Abyssal Blade. XY hits him back with the Boulder Smash. Samael again with the burst, able to bring down the wall up. They'll turn towards Jabs, popping the BKB, trying to run himself away. Ice 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 is there on the high ground. They'll the turn break. back towards RTZ. RTZ has to be careful. Is there going to be another bit of a stun coming through? They have the toss into the Boulder Smash. The silence as well. They'll bring him down once. I think they need to get out now. Yeah, he's fluttering away on the SF. Does not want to get caught by this anti mage. Can RTZ find anyone else? He's looking at jabs. That next blink could just nice. about do it. Good Hurricane Pike to push him back. Black's there with the Silver Edge touch. Zai jumping forward as well. Bottom lane, Mimo. <laughs> Samael is just styling on Ice Ice Ice. Brings the Timber Saw down. Black continuing to be chased down here with the Abyssal Blade. They may just get him. The Manafoy comes through. Black's out of mana. He's out of luck. He's down and out. EG. Link for his farm. It's easy just making sure pressure is being kept on on all three lanes. Yep. Next Y. The first smash. Oh. Oh, they do get the signs, but the Manta okay. is still there. And oh, easy. Gets it out. Some male jumps in and a dag on to the face of Nuts. Dag on five. This is brutal well, stuff. I, I, they, they're going to turn look to us. Ice, ice, ice. Yep. We have to get himself out of there. It's so hard to put him in. This next to the fellow in this hero. Getting scattered out by a sentry, though. Now, it's the Dream Coil, all ults available. I'm just gonna make the jump first. Sign the high ground, just smoke screen and the tag on straight up onto the Earth Spear. The Chaotic Offering will catch free, but Universe comes in from the side, takes down a second. They have lost Psy and, and Crit. It could be useful in other ways as a slow, but thinking like a blink tag, he could be like the ultimate nuisance with a blink. Oh, look at this. Oh Upgraded box from Samael as he jumps in onto Zai with the tag on, finds a free pick off as Warlock's taken out. And that. That's oh, a great sneaky. combo. It's sneaky. 
And uh, oh, they may even get themselves more here. With the bashes here on side side side, bringing him down low. At the Lotus Oil, tries to back off. The Mana Void will still come through from Arteezy. But ended up bringing Universe down very low. Sprouts himself up. Universe actually somehow surviving here on incredibly low health. Will Ooh. walk away again. The Dream Coil from Samal making it up. Oh, he's not going to make it though. Black's in with the toss. And has got the more, probably more important level 21 for the extra damage. They've got the big ultimates. Chaotic Offerings back there and available. Yep. And as you said, yeah, we saw them use it down bottom, give themselves a set of racks. So absolutely can go for it again here in the mid lane. Bloodthorn drops onto Arteezy, forces him to back up initially. And at the same time, Samel jumping in on the backliners, trying to force Fettafel to scout it. And then Arteezy just commits it with the BKB, the Chaotic Offering coming back in return. Jabs as well, pops his BKB with the Requiem. Arteezy trying to oh, focus geez. down. Blackie's falling incredibly low, but yeah, the cheese comes through in time. Arteezy has to blink away. Samael will end up being able to burst down the Earth Spirit, but the only casualty so far in this fight, Nuts, still alive, gets the dust out onto Zai, who tried to go for the smoke screen TP out. He's actually going to make it. Zai will live. Nuts taken down by the right click of Samael as he picks up a double. And now on cooldown for uh, Faceless. We'll see if VG able to get themselves back in and abuse this. They've got their eyes onto Ice 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 at the moment. Universe, crit, and Arteezy ready to go. They'll jump straight in with the Bloodborne freezing field as well. He's tanky. Is he tanky enough? Uh, with the Abyssal Blade, they'll have the control needed. He Hunter. will commit the suicide, and at the same time, mid in the lane. mid lane, faceless. Whoa. They made Mail and Zai out. That was the Silver Edge initiation. Black just goes charging in with a gem in hand, and finds a big kill. On XY, Boulder Smash into RTZ. Do they have enough control to bring him down? XY forces away the silence there just in time. But the Mansa Style is available. Ooh, Black doesn't misses. quite get the avalanche, but he jumps forward, has the toss. There's the Bloodborne Silence as well. They'll kill RTZ. RTZ's down for 100 seconds. Oh, well, let's say someone has to buy back. Look at TP me. out. Can he get out in time? He will. We'll be able to yep. be able to, to get back, but a big kill there yep. on the AM. Yeah, immediate buyback. They recognize that one of those cores needs to buy back to defend and also apply split push pressure. Universe can't do it on his own. He's just going to get picked alive. But at the same time, if he goes down a second time, here's Samael. Faceless. And potentially, maybe even taking a second set of racks. Samael with the jump in. She's looking to dag on jabs down. They're actually going to expend the anti-mage buyback here. They're worried about how much faces can get done, and they may still be able to. They'll bring the melee racks down, though. Fortification comes out from EG. Look at the Dream Cost done onto two. Arteezy, Abyssal Blade dropped here. The Chaotic Offering in response, though. Arteezy has to be careful. He's bought the BKB in the Manta. Turns towards a potentially easier target, but Ice 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 is too tanky. Black hits the combo on Universe. Universe is out. Jabs surviving with the Hurricane Pike, but Zai jumps across. Will manage to finish off the kill, but the kill back is he there lost in Tannic is going to make a big difference for his life against the constant Dagon spam coming out from this puck. Oh, Black, actually with the jump in stun, onto two, burst down the Crystal Maiden, Arteezy, immediately getting himself out of there. Ice 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 TP'd across, so look towards the mail. Might link out. That is CM down for 70. It is just a Crystal Maiden, but that's it's one hero down. You've got yep. the numbers, and it is a hero as well that was doing a fair bit with the freezing field in these fights. I think more importantly, you're like pushing high ground, and there's no split push threat, yeah. and you're in your good position. Oh, oh, he, hey, oh, he pistoled himself with the lower sword. Arteezy still will be fine. PKBs and Mantas trying to finish off jabs again. The uh, the Lotus Horse being laid down on jabs, allowing him to keep himself safe. They'll kill Arteezy. I might be over. He's down for 100 seconds and there. That awkward initiation oh, from Arteezy. No. It's over. GG is called. EG tap out. What we an MVP Lotus. Game three, and just yeah. an awkward way to jump in. Yeah, the Lotus Orbs, who, who, was, who was that from? That was Ice Ice Ice, wasn't it? The master no, no, troll no. himself. And, and just like that, bam.